Hello everyone, this is Dr. Esperanza and welcome to our Math 203 course and this video is just a short summary of what to expect in our online course. So let's start with some of the questions that I'm sure you want to ask me like office hours, how you will be graded, how are we going to be tested, and how to keep your A in our online statistics course. So the first thing that I want to uh, tell you is that we have two meetings, two live meetings, and that will be the first week and the last week or week 14 of our Math 203 course. So for week one, which is going to happen for the first uh, week of the semester, I'm going to give you an onboard uh, lecture on how to use our technology, Canvas or uh, Axis or Alex that we're going to be using as our ebook or textbook and how we're going to interact in our online modules. And uh, for week 14, that will be the last lecture week of the semester. We're going to be discussing uh, how you're going to be keeping your A or how you're going to hopefully um, get at least a grade of C so that you don't need to repeat Math 203 all over again. And I'm pretty sure that none of you will have that problem in our course for this semester. So two mandatory meetings will be on week one and on week 14. And then for our technology, we're going to be using uh, Canvas as our main LMS or learning management system. This is where I'm going to post our announcement, the discussion entries or discussion uh, topics, your midterm instructions and final instructions or final projects will also be posted in Canvas. And of course, the gradebook will be under Canvas and not on Alex. So what or how are we going to use Alex? Alex is our uh, software, which is basically our ebook. And this is where you will find your homework and your quizzes. And every week you have a homework and you have a quiz. So these are the two softwares that we're going to be using all throughout the semester for our course. Now, how are you going to keep your A in our course? You are going to one work on your weekly quizzes, your weekly homework, and weekly discussion posts, which I'm going to be discussing in a little while. And of course, your midterm and your final exam. And uh, of course, it will be 25% for your weekly quiz, 35% for your homework, 20% for your discussion, and 20% for your midterm and your final project. So let's start with the discussion post. And the discussion post, this is where I'm going to uh, get to know you better. I'm going to be posting some weekly discussion prompts that you're going to be answering and the questions will be ranging from uh, your best practices on how to uh, complete your homework on time all the way to what type of negative and positive correlation can you uh, give us so that we will a, will be able to have a discussion on those topics and to be able to earn 10 points 10 out of 10 in your weekly discussion post your post needs to be insightful it needs to be engaging and it needs to be substantial to be able to earn the full credit because your discussion entries will be graded so you are expected to post three entries one initial post and two responses to your peers. So this will help you interact with me and interact with your classmates and also to earn your 20% for your semestral grade. So again, two liner response does not constitute a 10 point credit response. So be sure to uh, be substantial in uh, the postings that you're going to be uh, writing in our discussion posts each week. And next is our homework. And the homework every week is um, basically watching the videos that I will be posting. So the videos will be included in our canvas as well. So uh, you just need to watch the topics that I'm going to be presenting each week. And there are two groups of videos that you can watch. One is the video that I created for our course, which is in Canvas. And the other one is, is, is a short video presentation in uh, Alex, which is basic, 
basically a summary of uh, the topics that will be covered in our ebook. So if you think that my uh, video lecture is not enough and you need more examples, then you can also watch the video presentations that I am also uh, providing in Alex just to ensure that you have enough resources to learn every skill that you need to acquire each week. And that is our weekly homework. Just need to answer it from uh, Alex. And it's a multiple choice questions that sometimes requires you to uh, fill in the blanks or graph using our software or produce a certain um, hypothesis analysis for some of the problems that you will be encountering in the future. And that's 35% of your grade. And the next one is your weekly quiz. So after you have watched the video, after you have taken notes from the video, answering our homework, which is unlimited or unlimited tries, now you have your weekly quiz and that is basically some of the questions that you are going to be answering based of the weekly topics that we have. And for the homework, the difference between the quiz and the homework is that homework, you have unlimited tries to get 100% on the homework. For the quiz, you only have two attempts. Again, you only have two attempts on completing your quiz. So on the first attempt, let's say you got 20 out of 22 and you want to earn 22 out of 22, you have the second chance to uh, raise your grade up to 22 out of 22 or 100%. But again, it's only two attempts as opposed to the homework, which is 100%. And this is open notes. You can use Google. You can use our ebook. You can use our textbook. You can use some apps that you can use to work on some of the math problems that we're going to be working on. You can use TI-84, you can use Excel, and a lot more softwares or apps that is available for you to help you answer problems like what is the mean of 25, 28, 23, and what is the test statistic of this hypothesis problem, and so on. So again, 25% will be coming from your weekly homework and your midterm and your final project, which will we're going to be discussing on week seven and week 13. So that's when we're going to start working on your uh, midterm project. So you don't have a midterm test or a final exam, but you have a midterm project and this is 20% of your final grade. So this involves you creating a video presentation of uh, the linear regression uh, um, project that you're going to be working on for the midterm and the hypothesis testing project that you will be working on for the final exam. So two outputs will be required on your midterm in your final project. The video presentation, which is two to five minutes long, and the written part of your presentation. So make sure that you complete those tasks for you to earn your 20% for your semestral grade. And again, we're going to be discussing about this project probably on week six, and uh, the final project will be a lot easier because whatever you have completed in your midterm project, you're just going to repeat the same routine and the same process for your final exam. So that's for midterm and your final project. And one rule for our online course, there is no makeup work in our asynchronous course. So if you miss your deadline, which is Sunday, midnight, every week, you're not going to be able to uh, answer the quizzes, the homework, the discussion post come Monday. So you have seven days to complete all our weekly tasks. So this will help you to manage your time wisely and to exercise your uh, self-discipline to ensure that you're going to complete all our weekly tasks on time. And again, there's no makeup test, no makeup homework. Alex will not be opened or extended because you have the entire week to complete this. So make sure that you don't cram and you don't procrastinate to be able to be successful in our online course. And communication, you can send me an email or a message in my email or in our Canvas uh, 
application or LMS. So uh, communicate with me and uh, make sure that when you're communicating, be uh, specific and be uh, direct so that I'll be able to understand uh, what your inquiries are or your concerns are and make sure to also uh, include your section number because we have two sections for this semester, uh, section 11 and section 12. So make sure to uh, type in your section so I would be able to refer to your gradebook right away. So that it's a lot easier for me to uh, answer and uh, respond to uh, your inquiries. All right, so I've been talking uh, for over five minutes, I guess, and I haven't introduced myself to you yet. So just to give you three facts about me. So one is that I have a silver play button, which is somewhere right there. And I earned that silver play button two years ago. And I currently have 270,000 subscribers in my YouTube channel. And the second fact about me is that I have over 20 years of teaching experience, both in the secondary level and higher ed level. So I'm not young. I may look young, but looks can be deceiving. So yes, I am a well-seasoned educator and I've been um, teaching at Chapman University since 2013. And all our courses or all the courses that I'm teaching in Chapman are all online. And the last fact about me is that I don't eat fish. So now I need to hear three random facts about you or if you want, Make it five on our first discussion forum. So if you are uh, willing to share your three facts about you or five facts about you, I am looking forward to reading them in our discussion board. And that is our summary of the syllabus that you're supposed to be reading as well, just to make sure that you know the expectations, our um, rules in the class and policies in our course in our course and also how you are supposed to be graded and if you need assistance just send me a message and I can meet with you via zoom our office our hours is basically the schedule that we have in our uh, registration which is from 11 to 12 or 12 to 1 depending on your section so uh, you can reach out to me and send me an email if you want to meet with me by assume but again this is an asynchronous course which means you have the power to uh, manage your time wisely and uh, pick the schedule that you want to use to start with our homework the quizzes and a lot more so see you monday on our week one for our onboarding uh, lecture. It's not going to be too long, so I'm looking forward to seeing all of you come Monday for our week one of Math 203 Online. This is Dr. Speranza, and see you again next time. Bye!